The Dave J. Pocket Dial. Sometimes I wear my insecurities on my sleeve. Occasionally, I've also been known to wear them on my head. It doesn't look so bad when I look at the pictures now, but the weekend before my senior prom, I thought my life was over. I went to Brian, the guy who cut my hair back then with his shoulder-length frosted hair, semi-handlebar mustache, gold medallion, and flipped 80s collar. He always used to call me Wild and Crazy Dave. I said, Brian, the prom's next weekend. I want something new and different. And he said, how about the buzz cut? Well, I didn't know what that was, but I yearned to feel accepted and thought the word buzz sounded cool, so I said, do it, you know, to which he smirked and proclaimed, Wild and Crazy Dave! Well, seconds later, I realized that my life via my head was about to significantly alter when he proceeded to buzz off most of what seemed like all of my hair. I sat there stunned at what stared back at me in the mirror, but that was nothing. As soon as I got home, my parents shouted in unison, What did you do?! In retrospect, for some odd reason in unison, they sounded vaguely like Adam Sandler. That might have been the last of my dwindling self-esteem, but for the fact that I still had to call Missy, my prom date, to let her off the hook in case she didn't want to be seen with the Wild and Crazy Dave buzz cut special. Naturally, I waited till 9 o'clock or so Sunday night to call her. The only privacy available to me was in my parents' bedroom, where they had an old rotary phone installed by my cousin Ricky. And I kept dialing the first six digits and then hanging up. And she had nines in her number, folks. She came to the phone and I bravely, if not nakedly, confessed. She said, Dave, I'm really glad you called. Because yesterday I went to the salon to add a few highlights. And now I'm a platinum blonde. <laughs> she let out a laugh and both of us a mutual sigh of relief. Hey, oh no, I pocket dialed. Sorry, your call cannot be completed as dialed. 